So you might wonder, as I am, why am I sitting here in my <laughs> early, early in the morning in my cozy shawl and pajamas and with unbrushed hair, etc. Well, I was coding in my sleep this morning and I therefore couldn't sleep. You can't really code in your sleep without waking up, I decided. So anyway, I decided it's a good time to try another live coding challenge. It's been a long time. Yeah, I don't think I've done one since I started working professionally. Uh, and uh, that was like a year and a half ago. So let's do it again. See how I do early in the morning like this. All right, so I'm just gonna choose the first one as usual. Remove the first and last character. And I'm still doing eight cues. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Your goal is to create a function that removes the first and last characters of a string. You're given one parameter, the original string. You don't have to worry with strings with less than two characters. Well, there you go. That is pretty straightforward. Let's do it. Boop. I've already got a function called remove car and it receives a string just like they said. All right, it removes the first and last characters of a string. Well, I could use push and pop. Oh, well, that only works for arrays, so. Um, so I could turn the string into an array and push and pop and then turn it back into a string. Uh, I wonder if there's string, um, you know, I know all these array methods. I wonder if there's string methods that could do something like this, or if I have to use array methods. Uh, I could also just remove the index indexes like index zero and index, uh, length minus one, which is the last index. Um, but I think push and pop is the most straightforward. But anyway, I'll do string methods JavaScript just to see what we got. Is there anything I don't know about? There's lots of things I don't know about, but. Let's see, so string at big blink bold care at care code at uh, concat ends with all right so there's all sorts of string methods um index of includes local compare match match all normalize wow so many great stuff search slice oh so i can slice a string Sub, substring, sub, blah, 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 blah. Uh, trim, trim, end, trim, start. I mean, trim is to get rid of white space, so I assume this is just at the end and the start. Um, so, some potential ones. Let me look at this one. Uh, so, slice 31 slices it at, I assume, index 31. So it slices it right there. And it returns this, which is nice because you don't have to, oh, and string slice negative four. One, two, three, four. Interesting. Hmm. And it gives the first and the last index here. Quick brown fox. Oh, uh, so this is something I could use. I could do string slice one, since I'm taking out the first index, and uh, and negative one. Yeah, one and negative one. Oh, huh, that's simpler. 
See, that's the thing, is I was gonna do the array thing just because that's what I know, but there's a string thing too, so I'm gonna try that. See if that works. <clears throat> I'm just gonna return string, uh, oh sorry, string dot slice, need to say what method I wanna call, and it's gonna be one and negative one. Let's see what that does. Uh, yeah, so if I call this function with a string in it, then it should return a string without the first and last index, if I'm understanding this correctly. So, test, boop. And I passed all the tests, and I can attempt it. And everything is wonderful. Woohoo! Submit. Let's see if everyone else did the same thing. I always like looking at the other solutions hey look at that the best solution is the one that i came up with isn't that wonderful uh but i wouldn't have if i hadn't looked it up look things up it works now these guys had to get all fancy and put it on one line which you know isn't wouldn't have been that hard but i think it's excessive uh whatever now substring, oh yeah, I've learned about substring, yep. String, string length minus one, so it's very similar to what we did, except um, using, excuse me, not using a slice. Uh, see, oh wait, oh I was saying push and pop, shift and pop, sorry, yeah. So this, this person did what I originally thought of, which is splitting it into an array. Shift and pop, of course, not push. Push, put something on the end, not take something off it. Wait, is pop at the end or the beginning? I think pop removes something from the end and shift removes something from the beginning. I always get those mixed up. Uh, and then you join it back into a string. So that's what I originally thought of doing before I found out about this cute little guy. It works so well. All right, well, that one was easy. Let's do another one. This is fun. Ah, my brain is happy. I think my brain's bored. Uh, ever since I stopped, you know, I'm between jobs right now. And here, let's just do the next kata, see what that's about. And, you know, it's been good. I've been taking a little break, oh, which I needed. I was majorly stressed out about the whole thing. But now my brain is saying, I'm bored. I want something to work on. So here we go. Okay. Uh oh, I'm doing a 5Q right now. What? I wanted to do another 8Q because that makes me feel smart. All right. I may as well try it. Move the first letter of each word to the end of it, then add A to the end of the word. Leave punctuation marks untouched. I actually made a Pig Latin translator app. Um, uh, I actually made one. It's on Netlify. Let's see if I can find it. Pig Latin. What did I call it? Netlify, no, hmm, dang it, I have it, I have it, Netlify, I'll just, I just have to go in here, because I don't, I don't remember what it's called, okay, uh, oh yeah, I remember this, oh my gosh, I have so many different, different ones, where's my, I want to see all of them, oh, sites, there we go. Oh yeah, Pig Latin Translator, there it is. Uh, I wanna go to it, there we go. Yeah, so I just got, I just had some, some random quotes and translated them into Pig Latin. Now this one was a lot harder than this uh, Code Wars challenge because, oh, no it's not, oh yeah, it is, it, it was harder because I actually wanted to keep, see how they don't change the, um, capitalization. See that, oh, they still want the punctuation marks at the end, but they don't really care about the capitalization. But I did. I wanted the capital letter to be at the beginning 
as usual. So, so I had to deal with the punctuation and the capital letters and redo it all. Anyway, and I did use regular expressions for this. Um, I want, I mean, off the top of my head, I don't think I'm gonna write regular expressions. So I wonder if there's a different, here, let me just get a new saying. Whee! Whoever is happy will make others happy too. Anne Frank, very wise. That's why I strive to be happy. Well, one reason I strive to be happy. I mean, happy, being happy is pretty nice in itself, but making others happy is, is also very good. Okay, anyway. Move the first letter of each word to the end of it, then add A to the end of the word. And then they're also not caring, apparently, about uh, vowels, because usually in Pig Latin, if a word starts with a vowel, um, like in, uh, like, is, for example, is, it would be is yay, it wouldn't be see yay, um, see yay, but they don't care about that in this either, so this should, should be simpler. Uh, okay, let's do it. A five Q. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing it. Pig it. It receives a string. Okay, so the best thing to do here is to split this string uh, into different words. Now, look at this, how they put a space between the punctuation mark here. Um, and that just makes it easier for us because it means I can split it uh, at the at the space. <sighs> now the easiest way to find punctuation really is to use regular expressions. All right, I'll use a regular expression. I'll just look it up if I can't remember it. That's fine. And there are sites for that too. So um, regular expression. That's where I go, expression tester. Sure, why not? Ah, regex 101. Is that what I want? Oh, yeah. Uh, except this is a tester. It's not like a generator. So I might just want learn, build, and test. Let's do this one. Cheat, cheat. Word, digit, or white space. Not a word, digit. Any of A, B, or C. Isn't there a... character between A and G, so I could do A through Z. But I thought there was one that was like alphanumeric, like, isn't that W? Maybe that's W. Uh, wait, let's, let's go to, oh wait, here's the tester. Okay, A through Z slash W plus a through Z range matches character in A through Z. It's case sensitive, right. So I thought W, so, so if I do this, it's gonna match everything. Aha, there we go. So I've got everything except the punctuation. So that's what I want, is just this thing to check for the, uh, what's it called, punctuation, <laughs> yeah. It's still, it's, it's early morning, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Take it easy on myself. Um, I sure hope this stream is working. I'm having fun even if it's not, so it's all good. Um, I did start streaming and it looks like it's working and I'm live. So that's good. It's been 15 minutes, so let's do this pretty quickly here. All right. I'm having too much fun with this. This is fun. 
<laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take the string, I'm gonna split it, and then if, um, I'm gonna split it, and then if it is a punctuation, I'm just gonna return it as is. If it is a word, I'm going to uh, shift and push. Um, I'm going to get an array of strings. And then for each string, Okay, split into array of strings. <sighs> Let's just do this so I don't have to do it all in my brain. My brain can, I gotta take it easy on my brain sometimes. For each string, if it is not a word, return. If it is, if it is not a word, return. If it is, if it is, then I'm going to, now here's the string prototype thing, is can I, can I, So I can concat, I can concat to a string. That's cool. Uh, I can do care at. I can find something with care at, so find the first letter, but I don't really need to. Uh, well, okay, so there's a few different options here. I can find the character at, uh, the first index of the word. Wait, ugh, go back. Where are you? Oh, I can also go to, into GitHub and see what I did here. Oh, that would be cheating. Yeah. But coders are cheaters. Let's do that, actually. Uh, go to my GitHub. And... Pig Latin... Oh, here we go. Pig Latin Wisdom. Vulnerabilities in my dependencies. Oh no! Source. Random quote translator, I assume, is what I want here. Pig Latin, set pig Latin, you state. Okay. Yeah, so I split the entire word. I didn't know uh, all these string methods, so I just split it into an array. I wonder if I could have done it without doing that, but we'll see. And then I mapped each word. Oh, I, I put it into, I changed it to lowercase because I was worried about the... <clears throat> oh yeah, here we go. Oh, if word is not alphanumeric, return word. I matched it to see if it was, if, and I, you know, anyway, whatever. Oh my goodness, my brain is just going. Uh, if it's non alphanumeric numeric you turn word so just return it else if word matches <laughs> if it ends with a punctuation okay that's good see comments are good i'm glad i did comments um i see and then if it begins with a vowel then i replace the vowel with the Letter plus yay, <laughs> regular expressions are so fun. <laughs> so if it begins with a con, yeah, if it begins with a vowel, do this. If it begins with a consonant, do this. Uh, else if a word <laughs> not match. Um, 
if it begins with a vowel, append way, way? I think I meant yay, because that's what I'm doing here. Wait, and, oh, if it ends with punctuation and begins with a vowel, and begins with consonants, I see it. See, I would have separated this out into a different function, because I don't like nested if, if statement things. Um, and then if it begins with a vowel, append yay. And if it begins with append consonants and a. So this is what I did here using regular expressions, but there are ways to do it without regular expressions. So that's what I'm going for. And then this is the capital. I see. Whoa, what did I do here? Whoa, a for loop? I haven't used a for loop in a long time. Capitalize array one, array two. I go through each one and I replace it. Ah, okay. And I, I get it to uppercase. See if the first array, yep, and I do the English words and the pig Latin words. I see. English words and pig Latin words, because I if if the English word is capitalized at the beginning, I also want the pig Latin word to be capitalized at the beginning. Interesting. So I don't care about this at all for this thing, but reading through someone else's code, in this case it's mine, and thankfully I have comments and stuff, but is a huge part of being a developer. I mean, docs are amazing, you know, when you're learning a new library or whatever, reading the docs is wonderful if the docs are good and if there are docs. But if you start a new job and you have this new code base to work with, chances are there's not a lot of documentation because, you know, uh, engineers are, are busy engineering and they don't have the time to, to write a bunch of docs for uh, new people coming in. So um, anyway, so, okay, so I'm gonna split into the array of strings. I'm, I'm not even gonna worry about this. Uh, I'll add that condition later. For each string, I'm just gonna add, do the base case right now, which is each one put the letter, first letter at the end and Ah, see, that's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering is if there's a string method to put, because I can select it. I, I'm just wondering if there's something equivalent to like shift and push for strings. Um, what the heck is blink? What is that? Oh, it's deprecated anyway, so who cares? Uh, oh, I see, the trash can says it's deprecated. That's good to know. Oh yeah, so concat is one way to do it uh, because you know it concats the string arguments to the calling string and returns a new string so that's what I could do uh, see because it says hello and then it concats oh it has a, adds a space here and a Oh, I see, because this one adds a, a, a what's it called? <laughs> comma. A comma. Yeah, I almost forgot what a comma was called. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, yeah, so I'm concatting a space and a string. Oh, and string too. Okay, so if I... Um, so I could potentially do two different methods here. One is either care at, uh, care at, or what did I do? I did slice. Slice might be better. Uh, who is it? Uh, no, not right now. Or do you need something? I'm sorry guys, I guess I gotta go, but we've made good progress on this one. Um, it, was, it was very fun. 
Uh, you can check out my Pig Latin wisdom and Pig Latin translator and stuff if you want. Wait, here's the... It's piglatintranslator.netlify.app or Pig Latin wisdom on uh, my GitHub page. It's open source and everything, so... Couldn't finish this one, sorry, but this was fun, lots of fun. So 